Hey, welcome back to 4.0 Solutions. This week in Industry 4.0, Litmus is awarded a smart manufacturing contract with Sesame. Timescale grabs a $40 million Series B funding. Amazon releases their machine downtime monitor for AWS. And last but not least, Tesla to stop accepting Bitcoin for payment of vehicles. The reason why you won't want to miss. So stay tuned for four things in Industry 4.0 this week. So the first piece of news that I got for you guys is the Sesame, I, I came across this on LinkedIn, Litmus awarded a contract worth $4 million with Sesame. So Sesame, we've talked about a little bit before on this channel, they are the Smart Manufacturing Institute. They're funded by the US government and their goal is to increase adoption of smart manufacturing or industry 4.0. So it is really exciting to see Litmus, which is a, an IIoT platform that we've also talked about on this channel. You can read about it on the State of Industry 4.0 keynote address here. Sesme issued a call for research and development projects to accelerate the adoption of smart manufacturing technologies, and Litmus was chosen from a list of 28 RFP response. John Dyke from Sesame said, Litmus was chosen from a large pool of RFPs because their project directly aligned with our specific areas of interest for applying smart manufacturing principles to real world manufacturing processes and operations challenges. The US Department of Energy is dedicating $4 million towards this project. So congratulations to Litmus and thank you Sesame for helping increase the adoption of smart manufacturing or industry 4.0. Moving on to the second piece of news that I got for you guys. Timescale grabs a $40 million Series B funding. So Timescale, the company that makes the open source product Timescale DB, is a time series database. Uh, they just announced their $40 million Series B financing round today. This investment came just two years after a $15 million Series A. Uh, Timescale runs on top of Postgres. And another interesting article that Mario shared in the Discord uh, this week was Timescale did a Postgres SQL uh, user survey. So I found some of those results pretty interesting. How do you prefer to refer to Postgres? And 65% refer to as Postgres, followed by 21% Postgres SQL. Which one do you guys use? Let me know in the comments. If you guys wanna read that full Postgres SQL 2021 update, I'll leave a link to it down in the comments. So congrats Timescale for raising $40 million. I'm excited to see the innovations that we have in IoT time series databases. Amazon releases their machine downtime monitor for their AWS platform. What I found awesome about this is Amazon's really listening and they're really pushing the industry 4.0 and IIoT ecosystem forward. They're the leading platform for our cloud applications. They natively integrate with the unified namespace they have the spark plug B connector right out of the box. They don't make you go through an SDK. There's many reasons why we love Amazon. And I just found it really awesome that Amazon released this application specifically for us. Machine downtime monitor will help you calculate your OEE or similar to like what the MES 4.0 modules or the Sevasoft modules would do like in Ignition. So if you guys do have any questions about AWS, join the Discord server and drop in line in the cloud chat. And Michael Brown is also a solutions architect from AWS. He just recently shared a job that they were looking for a solutions architect that started with the OT and is moving into the IT and the cloud experience. They're like even gonna train you. So like kudos to AWS for releasing this new product I wanted to share with you guys and also like growing in the industry space, hiring and releasing new products. Yeah, awesome. Last but not least, Tesla announced they're gonna stop accepting Bitcoin for payment of vehicles. Now, the reason why is Elon Musk's, as you guys know, his vision for all of his companies is to accelerate the adoption of sustainable and renewable energy, and also to make life multi-planetary, but that's another company. talking about Tesla specifically they had recently announced about a month ago that after they invested a bit 1.5 billion dollars of their cash reserves into Bitcoin that they would be accepting Bitcoin as payment for vehicles now I'm sure many Bitcoin millionaires did choose to pick up their new Tesla with Bitcoin but this practice was shortly halted because ultimately with the goal of accelerating the sustainable energy that's kind of at 
at odds with Bitcoin demanding so much power from all the Bitcoin miners around the globe. So what this means in the long term is that Tesla is still holding its Bitcoin. It's not going to sell any of it, but they are looking at other alternatives that are more eco-friendly for transactions. Now, Bitcoin may still be the store of value, the savings account, if you will. But as a method of transaction, the transaction cost is really high right now. So kudos to Tesla for staying true to your mission and not just going for a quick cash grab. If you guys like this show, make sure to get subscribed and leave a comment below. If you guys missed last week's show, you guys can click and watch it here and learn what is our prediction for the fastest growing software company in IIoT. So click that card here and or in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.